much, Mr. DePose. It's been a while. I've had to travel for work, all that stuff. I know y'all miss me. Don't bother touching that bell. A lot's happened while I've been gone. Russell, it appears you finally grown up here and started to stand up for your constituents. I'm proud of you for that. But based on your comments last month, I see I have to remind you about the rights we citizens have when addressing this council during public comment. I will be using words today that some consider vulgar. These are just words, and their unappealing nature helps to convey how angry we are at what you are doing to us. I will not stop using words that some consider vulgar until this council stops doing things that we consider vulgar. Because using a vulgar word is much less devastating than performing a vulgar act. Please note that the more you interrupt me, the longer this will take. And if you decide to turn a microphone off at any point, the video I'm recording, and the one Jimmy's recording over there, will be available to the public. So here we go. In accordance with judicial history, the public comment portion of the meeting makes this area limit public forum. When the government opens a public forum, it is generally subject to the same free speech standards as a traditional public forum. As a limited public forum, you can restrict access to certain speakers and topics, but these restrictions must be reasonable and content neutral. And even those restrictions face a high constitutional hurdle and are subject to strict scrutiny, the highest form of judicial review. I've had discussions with lawyers and they recommend that any comments be restricted to topics that the public has the right to be informed about such as the backroom bullshit you snuck into the budget at the last minute using shady tactics, like letting a non-resident vote on it. Yeah, we know that David had already moved out of Kershaw County, and the address he gave was his mother's since he had already moved up to Greenville. By his own admission on recorded video at his new church up there prior to that vote. So the budget should be nullified because it was illegally passed, and members of this county are being taxed without representation. Anyway... While they recommended comments be restricted to that, the lawyers confirmed that we could legally say anything here that we could say on the side of the road, as long as we don't threaten anyone. That means we could legally say any vulgar thing we feel appropriate during our public comments. We can also speak as long as we want to, because you have proven that your time restrictions are content-based and not content-neutral. Maybe that will change after Julian finally goes away, but I don't have high hopes for this council. Several members of this council keep bringing up the respect allegedly due this body. Some keep bringing up religion in various ways. Some of you have straight up said we should treat, treat this room like a church. I'm not a Christian, Baptist, Muslim, or anything else that worships any deities. I can't understand how any God-fearing person can accept these statements from anyone here. You are saying we should treat you with the same respect one has for their priests, pastors, moms, whatever. You are insinuating that you are operating with your God's authority. What does your God say about stealing from the less fortunate? I'm pretty sure your gods say you should help the less fortunate, not do your best to increase your own lot in life by taking from them what is theirs. While I admit I do not worship any deity, I know most of the founders were religious, but I also know some of them weren't. They did their best to remove their gods from the political equation and tried to separate church and state so that people like me are free to worship or not worship as they believe. By you bringing up your god here, you are forcing me to be a part of it. I'm not offended by others practicing their religion on their own time. I'm not offended by others placing signs of their beliefs on their own property. I am offended when others try to force me to treat them with the respect they think should be given to leaders of their church. Stop it. It doesn't belong here. For the respect you think you should be given, how about you try earning it? Shit, I didn't respect my father just because he was my father. I won't go into great details about my childhood here, but I moved out of my house when I was 16 and finished high school and living in my car that I bought and insured with my own money because he and I didn't get along. I forgave him before he died when I was in my late 20s because he apologized for all he had done. But that alone didn't earn my respect. Enough about that. You must earn respect because just like anything else in life, if it's not earned, it's not worth a damn thing. Now to the content that I really want to Excuse me, point of order. Hey, you got a bell there. If you're not mad enough to live up to the bell, let him have let everybody have as long as they want. Because if we're gonna let Mr. Mark have eight minutes, because you're intimidated by him, we're gonna let that lady get back up, and we're gonna let the other think, ladies get back up. I think we've got a so few more seconds. So you run the meeting, Mr. Jones. We got a few more seconds. I'm waiting on Mr. Debose. So I'm not stopping till I'm done. He right there you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Please uh, remove yourself you from the mic. You passed the budget with the loud. Would you turn the mic off, please? Into here, into turn the mic so off. 
We're into a recess. I asked Mr. Root to be moved. Can you move him away from the microphone, please? I want everybody else to have just as much time as he had. Turn you don't mic have the guts to, to, run this, to run this meeting. Turn these mics off.